So today is the day of the month and I'm ready to show you 10 different tricks. Just a little review what we learned so far entire month. And I'm just going to do 10 different tricks, 10 different important tricks on your Samsung Galaxy phone. We're going to be using One UI 8. So maybe some of the features you might not have it, but we're just going to review all of them. Okay, 10 different tricks on your Samsung Galaxy phone. First of all, we are going to dive into good luck first. And everybody should know, no matter what happened, no matter which phone you're using right now, you're supposed to be have the max 10 minute screen out time, the max. There is no phone can surpass more than 10 minutes uh, screen out time. So let's just say if this phone on for 10 minutes, then this phone will stand by mode. However, if you go into your good lock and if you go down right here, this uh, display assistant, you will find out that there's a new features inside here. And we are just going to dive into right here. Keep screen on. When you go in there and then you can see this one can stand to 30 minutes. So we're going to be surpassing 10 minutes screen out time. So if I want this phone to turn on for 30 minutes, all I have to do is go to a keep screen on. You can see this. I'm going to show it to you right now. Keep screen on. You just need to turn this on. And now this phone will last for 30 minutes screen on time. All right. So anytime if you need that, just turn that on. Make sure that you turn this on as well to tap this. And then they will ask you if you want to put the quick setting button and then you say yes and then it will show up right there all right so let's just say if you have one ui 7 or one ui 8 you should know it's a little bit different okay so first of all if you swipe from here down you will see all these like toggle bar okay everything right here but on the other hand, if you swipe from this side, all the notifications, it will show up. If you want to put them together back to normal, you can actually scroll on the right side, go back to here, and you see the pencil right up here. And then you go to panel setting. Now you can actually put them together if you want. So you can have your notification bar and toggle bar put together. So now if I, if I want to do that, if I scroll down, you see the toggle bar and the notification bar at the same page. So which is pretty, pretty easy if you are not used to it. So right now I want to get used to it. So I just want to back to the original one, put it separate. Okay. So now I just want to be this side toggle bar, this side the notification bar. Three is actually on the calendar. Very, very simple. If you go into the calendar, let's just say we have some type of like this, okay? We have something that we actually are using, okay? And now you can see this is your event, uh, events or something that you need to do. Did you know that if you actually hold this, if you want to change different date, you can actually drag and drop a different date. So let's just say I want to return my iPhone on the second, you just drop it here. Now it will be on the second. And let's just say I don't want this. You can drag and put on a different date as well too. And in addition, if you actually ready to put something in, you can see the plus button, right? You put, the new update is they actually put reminder and events at the same page now. So back then reminder is on the different page or different app. But now even though they have a reminder app, on here, on the calendar, you can see they have both options at the top. Events or reminder. Pretty decent, huh? Let's just say this is a setting right here. Okay, this is all the setting right here. And now you need to like, okay, let's just say I always search language because I always change language for my different channels and things like that. And now if I press language, they will show me all these options. Okay. From search options. Okay. Now, if you hold this, nothing happened. 
when I go to good luck, okay, because I want to create a shortcut for that. I don't want to keep going back into my setting and do uh, searching and then go to language and do this and that. I want to do a shortcut so I don't have to go to, into the setting. Did you know if you go to register in the good log and then in here you want to go into, you want to continue allow and now you want to say search option and then you say allow creation of shortcuts. Now if you turn this on, Remember, we have to search for options, okay? We do search first. This is, the, uh, this is the options they give it to me, right? And then now I press. Now they ask me, do I want this to be a shortcut? So now I want to go to the language because I usually change the language. Hold this. They ask me, do I want to add this as in a shortcut? When I press add, now this is a shortcut. So every single time, if I want to change language, I just need to press this, go to language, and then now I can actually change language right away without doing, going into the setting and search. Did you know on your One UI 7 or 8, you can customize your homepage. So let's just say we're gonna go into the homepage and you can see there's a home map. Inside this home map, you can design anything you want. So if we go into home screen, and then you go to DIY home screen, okay? This is still a beta version, so sometimes you might see a glitch, okay? So let's just say DIY home screen. Now you go back to your home screen, you squeeze, and you can see at the top DIY. You tap that. Now you can customize the size. You can tap, okay, because they divide into different square. You can actually make it smaller, bigger, okay. You can see that. Or you can actually make it horizontal, like this, or you can curve, whatever you want. You can see that, right? So that is DIY. And in addition, at the bottom here, you can put like a sticker. So you can put like a certain stickers. Let's just say there's a certain app, you always cannot find them because it's just so small. Let's just say, okay? Let's just say I go here and let's just say I cannot find this app all the time. You can go to DIY, you can put an arrow, okay? So let's just say I put an arrow. So make sure that I know next time when I look at this app, I know where is it. So I can put an arrow there. So make sure that I don't miss this app. So you can do something like that to make it cooler on your homepage. So let's dive in into the camera setting. So in the camera setting, we're gonna go into there and then we're gonna go into the setting, okay? Setting right there. And then when you go into the setting right there, you want to go into camera assistance. If you do not have camera assistance, it's okay. Make sure you download through your good lock or Galaxy store. So we're gonna go into camera assistance. There's two things I want you to pay attention and you want to turn them on. First of all, super, super simple, quick tap shutter. So when you turn this on, then when you're taking pictures, it will be much faster. Now we are gonna dive into a little bit more funner. So in here, you can see time, uh, timer, multiple photos options. So anytime when you say cheese capture, uh, hand palm, okay, to be sure they take a picture for you, this right here can take multiple pictures with one timer. So you don't have to go back all the time, repress this, you don't have to do it. You can just say one or do the palm once. Now they can do five pictures, seven pictures, and each picture will be two to five, two to three seconds or one second apart. So let's just say if I do one second apart, so all I have to do is, let's just say this is a front screen, you have a palm, you can see it will keep taking pictures and one second apart. So you don't have to go to there every single time and take pictures. Right now, if you say, hey Google, and you can actually ask Gemini to do anything. 
if you actually ask them to change uh, to summarize your YouTube videos if you want them to find your keys so let's just say if you press this button right there hi I'm Gemini okay and then now you can let's get okay you can always change my voice and setting okay I know I understand so right at the bottom here you see there's a camera right here you can ask Gemini to look for something that you're missing you just walk around the house and then Gemini will memorize everything that you know around your place and they will actually find what you're missing the keys the cell phones the wallet they will find anything you just walk with this camera on and then that's it Remember, if you have one UI 7, one UI 8, make sure that you use your AI, everything AI, because they can basically change everything. So let's just say, um, for example, okay, let's just say something like this. There's so many letters, there's so many things around here. You can even use AI to erase all these like watermark, all these letters, you can ask them to erase anything. So let's just say when we press AI button right there, let's just say we're going to erase everything at the top, okay? We don't want anything. You can just erase everything. Okay, and then I'm going to erase this as well too. Okay, so now make sure that it's been erased. Okay, press the erase button and then press generate anything that with watermarks anything that with like i don't know like a, a one image they can generate a new image for you without anything you can just basically like ai circle whatever you want you can even make them smaller like this okay you can see that and then now you just press generate and then they're just, they're just going to fill up the spot for you. Pretty simple. I hope this video helps you. Please subscribe to my channel and share this video. These are the 10 different features that you need to know on your Samsung Galaxy phone. Uh, this is the, the end of the month. That's why I do a little review. Please subscribe. I hope I can see you next month. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye-bye. Peace out.